There are many natural wonders in the United States today, but I want to take you to some of the top seven best man-made wonders here in the United States. Um, the first man-made wonder that we're going to discuss is the Brooklyn Bridge here in, in New York City. It extends more than 480 meters over the East River and connects the areas of Brooklyn and Manhattan. A famous bridge builder, David B. Timon, wrote the poem, but he did not build the Brooklyn Bridge. However, this was a dream of another man, John A. Roper. He was a member of the design team and became chief engineer of the building project in 1867. Sadly, he became sick and passed away before work even started. Um, building began in 1870. It was very dangerous. Few records are kept on such events, but historians say between 20 and 30 men died as a result of the building project. Some died from falling off the bridge, and others, some being struck by rogue equipment. The Brooklyn Bridge opened on May 24, 1883. At that time, it was the longest suspension bridge in the world. It is still a beautiful structure. The bridge, the bridge has tens of thousands of suspension wires that spread many meters across and up and down to towers on each side. From a distance, the many wires look like the string musical instrument called the harp. The center of the Brooklyn Bridge rises almost 40 meters above the East River. It is one of the most famous and beloved New York City landmarks. The next man-made wonder we're going to discuss is the Golden Gate Bridge located in Northern California. The Golden Gate Bridge is named after the waterway it crosses. The Golden Gate Strait lies between the Pacific Ocean and San Francisco Bay. Naturally, the bridge over it links the city of San Francisco with Marin County. Joseph Strauss was the chief engineer of the Golden Gate Bridge. The building began in 1933. The bridge opens shortly thereafter in 1937. It is almost 1,300 meters long. It was the longest suspension bridge in the world for almost 30 years. The color of the bridge, international orange, is very important. It was chosen partly because it is easier to see through the heavy fog that often covers San Francisco. Many people consider the Golden Gate Bridge the most beautiful bridge structure in the world. The next man-made wonder we are going to visit is the Gateway Arch in St. Louis, Missouri, and it is the tallest freestanding monument in the nation. The shiny steel curve rises to almost 200 meters. Below, the arch is exactly as wide as it is tall. The famous Finnish-American building designer, Aero Sardin, designed the Gateway Arch during a national competition in the late 1940s. However, building did not begin until February of 1963. It was then completed by that in October of 1965. Later, a transport system was added to permit people to visit an observation area inside the top of the arch. The Gateway Arch rises above the Mississippi River. It was named in honor of St. Louis, which was historically called the Gateway to the West. The next man-made wonder we are going to visit is South Dakota's Mount Rushmore. This monument contains giant faces of four great American presidents that are cut into the rock near the top of Mount Rushmore in the Black Hills. Each face is about 18 meters high. Sculptor Gutzon Borglum was chosen to create the Mount Rushmore Memorial. It was completed in 1941 after 14 years. Each president represents important values in America. George Washington led the cause for independence. Thomas Jefferson represented the belief in equality. Abraham Lincoln ended slavery and saved the Union and Theodore Roosevelt was a conservationist and a symbol of the progressive spirit of America. The next structure we visit is by far one of the most difficult structures ever built in the United States, the Hoover Dam. The dam is in the Black Canyon near Las Vegas, Nevada. It controls the water of the Colorado River and produces electric power. Workers began to build Hoover Dam in 1931. They finished in just five years. More than 20,000 men worked on the project. It was very dangerous. 96 workers were killed, and along with many others injured. The Hoover Dam is 221 meters tall. It weighs more than six and one half million tons. At the time, it was the largest and tallest dam in the world, and it was one of the largest producers of electric power ever built. Hoover Dam also created the largest man-made lake in America, Lake Mead. 
The next man-made wonder we are going to visit was built long before the United States was even established. About 900 years ago, the ancestral Puebloan people built villages high in the walls of canyons in Mesa Verde, Colorado. 600 cliff, cliff dwellings are now part of the Mesa Verde National Park. Visitors can stand at the top of the mesas and look into the dwellings almost hidden in openings of the rock walls. The Puebloan people cut small steps into the rock, a series of such steps connected buildings containing hundreds of rooms. The rock walls have protected the buildings from severe weather in the area, so they remain mostly unchanged in the hundreds of years since they were built. Our final man-made wonder that we will discuss is in the northwestern city of Seattle, Washington. The Space Needle was built as the central structure for the 1962 World's Fair. Edward Carlson designed the 184 meter tall structure. The Space Needle has a wide base on the ground. It is narrow in the middle. On top, it is a large ring-like structure. The structure was meant to look like a flying saucer, a vehicle that was popular in science fiction space travel stories. The saucer includes an observation area and eating place. The restaurant slowly turns to provide visitors with a 360 degree view of Seattle. The Space Needle was not very costly. The building project cost about $4.5 million. It was designed and completed in about a year and opened on the first day of the World's Fair. Today, the Space Needle is the most popular place for visitors to Seattle and it remains the internationally known symbol of the city.